What's up everybody? My name is Justin and this is Justin Side Gaming. Side Gaming. Alright, welcome back everyone. Today I have the start of the new Scary Games pack. Basically I go online, I find three whatever, however many I feel uh, indie horror games from small developers, independent people, whatever. Uh, and I, I play them. Most of these are going to be short, which is why I pick three or more. Uh, I usually start with three, and I've got some backups just in case if the, they end up being shorter than I thought. Uh, but yeah, today we are up with, uh, let's see. I Feel Fantastic, Filth Breed, and Faith. All right. So, let's jump into it. Okay, I feel fantastic. Supposedly this is based off a Greek philosopher who used to carve really realistic human statues. Uh, basically knew every nuance of the human body and was fascinated with it. Until he met some prostitutes, and then he became disgusted with women. So he then set out to create himself the perfect stone statue wife. Uh, and this is what they, this is, this is based on that, which is just creepy, already. Where is my mouse? Oh dear god. Well, I'm glad you're feeling fantastic, I'm feeling a little weirded out. Oh god. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so A and S move this hand like that. D and F move that one. Q is up. W, sorry, Q is down, W is up. Okie dokie. E and R. What else we got? Okay. T does that. G does that. And I think we have a repeat on the other side. Yes. So this is pretty much just this. What else is there? Oh god. Oh, okay. That's disconcerting. Yes. Hi. Alright. What can we make her do? Oh, hi. Nice. Um. Alright. we do here okay pretty much only controlling the head in this one um, yes That's all this thing does. I'm a bit disappointed. Hmm. As uh, discomforting as that is, that was actually very disappointing. Alright, this one is Filth Breed. Welcome to Filth Breed. Would you like to try? Yes. Click to advance the slideshow narration. Use keys to move the mouse to around. Once you find a fire, scroll up to draw. Click to shoot. Can't interact if I got my gun out. Cool. Got it. Homeless shelters all across the state have reported the disappearance of several people in the past few months. 
Investigators are pointing to Michigan truck driver Louis Burton as a prime suspect. Having a well-documented track record of smuggling cocaine across the border, he too is nowhere to be found. His former partner has confirmed Burton's involvement in the case, but remains adamant that he's not absconding. According to his testimony, Burton's been recruited by a local cult and held captive in an unknown location. While these claims have yet to be verified, a transport truck matching that of the suspect has been located next to a warehouse in the outskirts of Detroit. Higher-ups remain skeptical, but you've been tasked to search the area for any evidence pertaining to the case. Exit. You turn back straight away and tell your superior you found nothing. Your quick return and the short report raises some eyebrows in the office, but nobody was buying that cult nonsense anyway. You feel like an absolute coward and quit the force shortly after. The trail grows cold and the case is eventually archived. Ultimate Woods. <laughs> yeah, it's totally me. I'm the ultimate wuss. I'm the guy who knows he's in a scary movie and GTFO. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try again. Maybe this time we won't be a big giant wuss. Got it. Skippy, skippy, skip, skip. All right. What do we got? Bags of trash. Animal skulls. Doors that don't open. A fan that doesn't work. You were right, Sally. We never should have cr trusted these crazy fucks. They keep us all down here in the dark, trapped like cattle. We're just animals to them. Some of us are even starting to act apart. The There's this Lucas guy who walks on all fours and bites you when you're sleeping. I miss you, Sally. I miss the gang back home. I miss fucking Brightmore. I hear them chanting again. It's time. Okay. I uh, hope I don't find Lucas. I took the gun right out of his pocket, and the idiot didn't even flinch. If only I'd had the balls to do it before. It's too late for me now. Whoever's reading this, I pray you can make better use of it. Just don't bother aiming for the head. I've seen these freaks last well over a week without it. Oh, wow. What type of freaks are we dealing with here? Oh, fuck! Ah, ah! What the fuck? What? What? What do I need for that? Oh, now I can't leave? Oh, wait. There we go. You make the sensible decision to turn back. Whatever's going on in there, it's not normal. You're not prepared for this kind of situation. The guys at the station have a field day with your report. You're not the first look rookie to lose their temper under pressure. The veterans will handle this one. Three offers into the warehouse. Only one of them makes it back. Right leg maimed and infested with larva. She's in a state of shock and can barely muster the words to explain what happened in there. She gasps something about feeding mom before collapsing. You know it's not your fault, but still feel responsible for it. You're granted a two week break from the force and never return. 
The case didn't make the news. You move on with your life and try to forget everything. But years later, you still have dreams about it. That's our treat. <laughs> okay. I wonder how many different endings there are. Skip. Come on. Fuck you. I'm ready. I'm a veteran now. Extreme. Every time I wake up, there are roaches in my mouth. Are they getting in? Are they coming out? Clever little buggers pulling out my teeth, laying eggs under my gums so I can't chew and spit. Every time I wake up, there are roaches in my mouth. Are they getting in? Are they coming out? I can't take it. Fuck is that? That's weird. Oh god, that was my kid. Scared the fuck out of me. So confused. Am I supposed to do something with that? I don't know. Burn it. Burn it all to hell. Looks like some kind of sacred book. What language is that? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's no interacting with it. Thus spoke the slumbering prophet Gor Gorin. It took a sick god to imagine a world this filthy. It took a vile god to shape a world this cruel. It takes a world this filthy to shelter us all on its putrid bosom. It takes a world this cruel to nurture us all into an existence of agony. We are but mold on the rotting apple. We are but shadows of a madman's dance in the fire. Man is not doomed, but destined to ruin. Man is not to purge, but to fester the world. Which innards reveal the path? Bring forth the lice mother. Okay. Kind of a... Have a weird religion going on here? No soda? Nope. No sodas. Don't blame the soda man for not stocking it. Weird. Hey buddy, you got a little something going on there. Um. Huh? Well. Ah! What? Ooh. What the fuck? Oh god. There's so many of them. Oh god. That's gross. 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 Is it like a melee option? There's so many. Back here. The fuck is going on here? What kind of weird kinky shit you people into? I don't have any bullets. No bullets. Out of bullets. Out of bullets. Can't go back, can't go forward. I guess the only way is out. Cool. You block the old iron door and take a moment to bask in the sun. Out of reach of those creatures. Back at the station, you debrief your superior on everything you found. You don't even bother trying not to sound crazy. After a moment of awkward silence, he finally congratulates you for the good work. He then suggests you take a couple day break. You go home and take your, try your best to get some sleep. Come morning, you wake up to the news of a fire at the warehouse. The place went up in flames well before a team could be dispatched to check on your findings. It's all gone. Twelve bodies have been recovered so far. The police are hesitant to, divide, to identify them as human. They're hard and hollow, 
like man-shaped chitin shells. Chitin? Chitin shell? Chitin? I don't know. Pest control. Cool. I got three different endings. That was fun. Fun and creepy. Okay, so this one is called Faith. Uh, it is a bit of an older style game, uh, but from what I hear, read, whatever, uh, it's got some pretty spooky stuff in it. So, I am going to start by replaying the intro. Just so you guys can see what I saw when I first booted it. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Instructions to move, use laws or arrow keys. Doke. So there, uh, there's no run option. Okay. Mm -hmm. In religion, aren't I not supposed to get the apple? Isn't that like the thing that kind of fucked it all up? Face demons and cast them out with the space key. Be gone! Battle of Christ compels ye. Be gone, Val Demon. Cool, oh, I think I'm ready to begin. Let's back down this road. Oh wow, I really can just go down the road. What about this rock? I bless this rock. Get the fuck out of here. I know what's in this shit, there's demons in this shit. Much of the same. Oh wow, it was just never ending. I'm already trapped. Okay, I guess we'll just go about this then. Oh, oh god, what the fuck is that? Well, that was fucking terrifying. Deer? Fuck you, deer. Oh god! Go away! What the fuck? Run, deer! Run! Ah, we're going for the ring, bitch. Yeah, I bet you do. Less this water! You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May. Oh my god, that clown is terrifying. Aaron Wright, 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road. Go straight past the well. Okay. Hey, dear. Power of Christ. Power of Christ, dear. He was probably possessed, that's why he ran. Oh, cool. Plus his house. It's locked. Okay. 
Okay. Christ. You check the rock. It's probably a key under the rock. I was invited. Oh, God. Jesus. I think it makes me shiver every time it fucking comes by. Damn creepy. stuff in the trunk. Now you got holy water in there. What did he say? I'm actually curious what happens if I let him get near me. Worship me! Worship me! No, sir, you worship me. Always face the demons. That's the lesson here. Always face them. Oh god, right, fuck you! Do, 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 do. 
God, that music is hauntingly creepy. You wanna? No! I don't wanna! It's like... had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I have sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. <laughs> Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh fuck! He's got a cross. Oh hi, dear. Oh, what the? Where the hell am I? I oh, love it. You suffer. I don't want to suffer. Hello, dearie. Okay, dear went this way. You has led me to something. Oh God! Every time. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connection to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Wednesdays at 8 p.m. It's a good time. Sounds like fun.
I knew the deers were key to something. The Barton's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a grave of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alien, Al Alred, Alfred, Alred, seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until he arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. Look, a key! Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, Christ. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. That was creepy. No more deer to show me the way. Oh, shit, you dropped something. Hey, you dropped something. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Uh-oh. That one's in trouble. creepy in that house. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explained that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Where'd the music go? Okay. Oh, okay. I will exercise the ghost from this plant. Uh, guess not. Table? You never tell what can be exercised. Rug. <laughs> Creepy. Sure, that's gonna come around and be something scary in the future. Okie dokie.
this. Huh? Guess was presenting the, the picture on the. Oh, Jesus. Nate, what are you drawing? Cookies? Food? I have it? No. Oh, it's fruit. It's a banana and an apple. I understand. Yep, that's creepy. Not going down there. Mm -mm, not happening. Not yet, at least. I'm gonna go upstairs first. that was exercise the rubber ducky I guess I don't feel safe in my own home anymore I hear voices outside around the house at night I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there the house itself feels stressed distorted slanted somehow it's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse Amy's condition has only gotten worse I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why she just doesn't seem like herself anymore I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Thank God for Bob! Bob! Oh, Bob! Save me, Bob! We exercise this leaky faucet. Nope, didn't help. Toilet? Nope. I don't know what the fuck that is up on the dresser, but that looks creepy. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I, was, when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. About a Christ compels ya. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. That's racist. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would have rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. This supposed to be a baby doll? It's more like a voodoo doll. Oh, fuck. There's toys everywhere. Power of Christ. Power of Christ. Power, power, power of Christ. Power of Christ. Power of Christ. Power of Christ. Nope. Power of Christ. Nope. Power of Christ. You etch a sketch. You look fucking suspicious. You demon filled sketch of etch. Power of Christ. Oh, whatever. Power of Christ. Nope. Hook it up. Guess that's it. Must be on our way down to the basement. It's eerily quiet around here. It's very strange. Very, very strange. Mm -hmm. Bob Christ? Bob Christ. That doesn't. Oh, uh, it's a haunted baby crib. 
I just exercised the soul of a baby. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked, what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints there worship... One of the saints they worship is Sin La Muerte, or Sin Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When he, we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to Saint La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of Saint La Muerte, and the figure made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't yet come. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months! Layton. And possess washer. Possess dryer. Possess puddles of water. Hmm. Nope, nope. No, no doke. No, I knew it. This was a home for the KKK. Look at all these white sheets on mannequins and stuff. You don't fool me. You don't fool me. Ah, that that looks satanic. Yep. I've seen a lot of satanic circles in my time. That looks satanic. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceeding of the right for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! The whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. So I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Uh, she's probably in the attic. All right. Oh, that doesn't feel right. Oh, that doesn't feel right at all. Oh, what the... Oh, oh Christ! Is she? Power of Christ. Power, power of Christ. Fuck. Ah. Fuck off, bitch. Oh, I have the power of Christ. Oh god, it didn't help. Dude, you really ought to, like, run, run, not, like, walk slowly out of this freaky house. He is here. I bet she is. Fuck off. No, fucking run! Run, dude, run! No! Run, dude! Get the fuck out of here! No, run! Boy, Damn it! She is the earth. Yeah, well, she's a bitch. I 
got it. I understand now. Fuck out of my face. My cross will defend me. This wasn't here before. She was hiding last time. I know your tricks. I know your games. I know how to beat you. Oh god. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She my super wait. Wait, what? She, my superior father, with when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to their house. The nightmare I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. And if I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. What was that? I'm supposed to be my letter to like my wife or something? Oh, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good sign. My god, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? Yes! I have to finish what I started. You're beautiful! Your white cloth. Fate. What? You. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, I got that. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? Oh, you're beautiful. I have to finish what I started. You died, priest. Get out of her way. Haha. -ha! Yeah. Think you've got me, but you don't. Fast for you, bitch! Die already! Or be exercised already! Ugh. 
Me too fast for ye. Oh, fuck. That was close. Thought you had me, though. You did. You thought you had me. But you don't. I am the priest. I'll exercise you, bitch. Get your exercise on. Oh, fuck. Better. That was wrong. Like your face. It's very bloody. Ah! Dodged you. <laughs> ah! You missed. Ah! You missed. Oh, Jesus Christ! No! Oh, let me out! Oh, let me out! Oh, God! What the fuck was that? She had a fucking hand coming from her face! Oh, run! Leave me alone! Oh, fuck. Ran right into her. So I can't escape the room. That's a fact. What the fuck just happened? And the game crashed. Awesome. I hope it remembered where I left off. Honestly. So, winners don't use drugs. Nope. Nope, nope, no. Uh-uh. No, I'm not doing it. No, I said. Here are the words that are coming out of my mouth. No. I'm not starting all over again. That was that was too much. So hey, that's where we're gonna leave it off, guys. Uh, uh, you know. Game crashed. What can you do? You know. I was just about to beat her too. Ah, lucky. She got lucky. Anyways, uh I kinda like this whole scary games compilation, uh the indie games. Uh, so I think I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to look for some more stuff. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. While you're there, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to flip the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my future uploads. If you really like what I do here, consider supporting me on Patreon. Because by supporting me in any way that you can, you guys are investing in my ability keep doing this whole YouTube thing and bring you guys some amazing content. Thank you for watching. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.